What's up guys, Shane here from Fugac 3D Printing and today we're going to install some upgrades from Anycubic on the Anycubic i3 Mega. Welcome back guys. So this is my original Anycubic i3 Mega which I received for review almost two years ago now or if not more than that. It's been quite a long time and this has been Probably, of all my machines, the biggest workhorse of them all. The FT5 is not a lot for me, but this one has just printed excellent out of the box. The ultra base on this just performs amazingly with flexible PETG, ABS, PLA, wood filament. I mean, it just does it all without even a, barely a scratch. I say that, I have nicked it over the years a little bit, so it has a few body, battle scars, but it still works out really, really well. And being that this is the original, it's, it's dated now. And there's a new version out called the Anycubic i3 Mega S. There's a little S at the end of it. And that comes with some pretty interesting upgrades. The two main ones is a spool holder. So currently, I have just this kind of chintzy 3D printed one. And it doesn't really work that great because when it's on the printer and you have a spool on there, it it just starts to, and then the spool comes off and then you have a failed print. Yeah, that's happened a few times. That was never really a good option. I mean, but it, it worked for the most part and we go on from there. The thing that also it upgrades is the extruder. Now I will say this, the Anycubic extruder is probably one of my most favorite. It just always grabs, the tension on it is pretty good but over the years now, it's starting to see some wear and tear. I'm getting under extrusions. I've swapped out the nozzle. I've done a lot of work on this, and it's just not quite where it was when I first got the machine. So that's where we're gonna start with our upgrades tonight. And thankfully, to solve those problems, Anycubic has an upgrade kit. So let's see what all we get inside this upgrade kit. So the very first thing we'll show here is part of a new spool holder which is there that's part of it we've got some screws for it and again this is a all metal which should be able to hold a lot more weight than the current one and then fully assembled with a motor is a brand new extruder now this is their take on a titan extruder uh, it, it seems from what i've read it seems to be pretty legit so it'll be interesting to see how it goes. It also comes with a new pancake stepper, which is much, much smaller than the original. And that's it. Those are the two parts. That is what you get. Now, if you're, if you're just getting this, or you're looking at buying an Anycubic i3 Mega right now, you can get the, the standard, the, old, the OG one for $250 on Amazon. That's, you know, you can probably, probably a little cheaper other places, but Amazon, if you want to get like two days, $250. Right now, the Anycubic i3 Mega S, which has these upgrades to it, it's the same machine, just a little bit upgraded, goes for $255. There's a little coupon on Amazon for that one. I think it's 15% off. It takes it from $300 to $255. So for $5, you get these upgrades. If you have this version already and you want to buy these upgrades, I believe they are $30 or $35 on Amazon. I'll make sure I link both of those down below and this original one, because again, it's really kind of stupid to buy this anymore unless you can get it for like sub 200 or you know anything lower than that that would make more sense but the upgraded version because it has these presuming that these actually work out well is a much better investment to spend the five dollars and get the upgraded version than the older one other than that everything is exactly the same so that is this is an awesome machine i have done some other upgrades to it it's running some tmc 2008s on it or 2208s i'm sorry and that makes it so much quieter. It makes it run so much smoother. Uh, I have also added a blower underneath to be able to cool those steppers because they do get hot. So it does active cooling. I've added some LEDs in it and I have my little tool holder up here. I do want to do a little bit more work on, actually I have done the a different part cooling fan and whatnot. I'm going to do another video on this. I'm going to do a totally different, uh, 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 blah, blah. I'm going to do another video on just the hot end i'm going to do a different upgrade to that and a different video but i just kind of want to showcase the the new hotness from any cubic that is this stuff so without further ado let's get installed so we're going to do the 
uh, spool holder first, which is going to go on uh, just kind of like so. It'll go right on the front of the machine. So we have our other little piece, which just goes on with two of these little 10 millimeter M3s. It should be pretty easy to get started on there. So now I'm going to have to get this on here. All right now, this is the front left of the machine. What we're going to do is we're going to loosen up the two of these bolts. This is just going to slide right underneath there and then we're installed and it's done. It's literally it's add two bolts, loosen two, tighten them back up and we're good to go. Actually, I went ahead and put it on the two inner ones here. This gives it a little bit more stability. Let me make sure a spool sits on it right though. Yeah, look at that. That is just perfect, and that is super duper stable. I like it so much more now. Awesome. All right, on to the next thing, which is the extruder. So the extruder should be pretty easy. This is just my little wheel that I put on her. Devin from Make Anything made these, and they are uh, truly awesome for feeding or filling through. But the new one doesn't need that. So all we have to do is disconnect our Bowden tube. We're gonna disconnect our cable underneath. That is for the... Uh, motor but oh yeah uh, they do hot glue everything on this machine so it is going to take a hot second to get that off and that's made a pun da -dun -dun okay i'll worry about taking that off later now we're going to use our same tool and we're going to pull off the first all right here's one now we still do have the uh, filament sensor here, which we will be putting that right back on. I mean, there's the old one, literally just set that to the side, pick up the new one, and we're gonna put it on exactly the same way. That is uh, almost too easy, to be honest. It really is. So what I'm using here is this is a uh, wow stick that I've got on Banggood. A uh, little electric screwdriver for about 35 bucks. Comes with a tons of bits. I do really like it, but because of the close quarters that were in here, it just can't get in to this space. So we're gonna have to go with the good old Weeha drivers. If you do not have a set of these, I would highly recommend them to you. They are a good set of tools that will really pay dividends in the end. I mean, I've used them so much for my projects now. They've been truly great. All right, so now that's installed, we're just gonna get our motor cable, and the motor, our Bowden tube, which is now tangled. Put that in there, but that went in way too far, I believe. Let me get it right to there. We do have enough space, all right. And um, that is the bulk of the install. It's pretty simple. Uh, we do have to, I don't know why they gave me all these extra screws. I didn't find like a guide online for this, so maybe I did some of that wrong. I don't know, I'll verify. But the thing that I have to do now is I have to update the firmware. We, we went from a standard uh, MK9, MK10 style extruder to a geared extruder and that has much different steps. The stepping on this is usually between 100 and 109, mostly. Uh, for geared extruders, it's between 400 and 440 about. Kind of all depends on how everything meshes together. Like I think um, 420, I think is what um, E3D says for their Titan. That's kind of what this is. It's a kind of a Titan style. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my firmer. I do have a modified firmer that I use because I have the I have the part cooling fan on this running much higher. I'm running at the full 100%. I think it's limited to like 70% of power from the board, but the other firmware that I'm using lets you run that power way high. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It's gonna take me a hot minute here. I'm not sure how to do that because there's lots of videos how to upload firmware. It's pretty straightforward. So once I upload the new firmware, I'm gonna also have to do some tests so I can figure out my E-steps. And again, we'll start with 400, see how that does and kind of go from there. We'll do some tests. So I'll be back shortly. All right, I uploaded the firmware. I set it to 400 steps and it pretty much was spot on right there. I could define it a little bit more than that, but I'm gonna call it good. I can make other adjustments using my extrusion multiplier 
and my slicer to get absolutely perfect on there. Maybe I'll tune a little bit more, but either way, I was able to get just, just shy of that 100, actually a little, it's a little bit more of that 100 millimeters that I ext uh, extruded. Again, there are tons and tons of guides out there on how to set your E-steps in Marlin, so please go ahead and look those up. I'll probably I'll link some guides down below just so you don't have to Google some, so much. It'll be right down there for you to check out. I'll put links to this upgrade kit, so if you do have an original i3 Mega, you might want to look at doing these. I'm gonna do some testing here soon. So I use this machine a lot for film reviews. So I'm gonna throw on a new spool right now. This is just an old spool I have. I was just doing for the testing, but I'm gonna go ahead, throw that on and get printing with this right away. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hopefully it helps you out if you're going to get this upgrade kit and how to install it. Again, it's a total of four screws. It's very, very simple to do. And if this video helped you out, please give the video a thumbs up. Otherwise, thumbs down. Either way, talk in the comments down below. Love to hear from you guys. If you guys wanna stay tuned what's going on, make sure you become a subscriber, hit that subscribe button hit that bell icon that way you get some notifications when i upload new content or go live if you guys just want to hang out join the discord there's a link for that down below people there are talking about cosplay what printers to buy upgrades to do and just generally helping each other out it's a great place to build a community so go ahead and check that out if you guys are coming out financially there's a patreon link down below me don't be dollar more you can access my patreon feed and after show i have to do after most of my new videos other ways you can help out there's some one-time links there's a bunch of fill links with some coupon codes check that out save yourself some money and a little slice of what you buy comes here to help me out the channel i thank you guys for watching until next time happy Happy printing.